What's the deal with Hollywood and reality TV double standards? Brandi Glanville is a woman who seems to be making headlines for all the wrong reasons lately. Let's start with the most recent example, Brandi Glanville and her unwanted kisses, touches, and pinning down of Caroline Manzo on the set of Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip. Now, if a man had done the same thing on a reality show, he would be kicked off, shunned by society, and labeled a sexual predator for the rest of his life. But Brandi? Oh, she's just a wild, drunk, reality star who couldn't keep her hands to herself. No big deal, right? And let's not forget about the infamous slap heard round the world when Brandy smacked Lisa Vanderpump on the set of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. If a man had done that, he would have been arrested on the spot. But Brandy? It just always goes too far. Oh, she's just being a feisty firecracker. But it seems like she can get away with just about anything. After all, she was never kicked off Real Housewives of Beverly Hills despite her misbehavior and scandalous antics on the show. And now, reports have emerged that she physically and sexually assaulted Caroline Manzo during filming of Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip. According to sources, the cast was partying in a private home in Morocco on January 25th when Brandy stuck her tongue down Caroline's throat. And if that wasn't enough, Brandy then reportedly locked the bathroom door and pinned Caroline against the wall, putting her hands on Caroline's breast and genital area. One source familiar with the incident says that the crew found the audio recording of the interaction disturbing. Yet, despite all of this, Brandy was only asked to leave Morocco and was never officially punished for her actions. This double standard in Hollywood is just outrageous. If a man had done the same thing, he would have been kicked off the show and possibly faced legal consequences. But because Brandy is a woman, she can continue to behave badly on reality TV without any real repercussions. It's not like this kind of behavior is new for Brandy either. During her time on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, she was known for her wild partying and alcohol-fueled antics. She was also involved in numerous arguments and physical altercations with her co-stars, including the aforementioned slap on Lisa Vanderpump's face. And yet, she remains a beloved figure on the show, even with all her scandals and controversies. It's enough to make one wonder what kind of message Hollywood is sending to women everywhere by allowing this kind of behavior to go unchecked. So why is it that when women like Brandy cross the line, they face minimal consequences, if any at all? This double standard needs to end. Assault is assault, no matter who the perpetrator is. It's time for Hollywood and reality TV to stop excusing the bad behavior of women and hold them accountable, just as they would a man. In conclusion, the double standard in Hollywood is clear and it's time for people to start calling it out. Women should not be allowed to behave badly on reality TV without facing any consequences. Until that happens, it's hard not to feel like the industry is sending a dangerous message to women everywhere.